when managing a dropped PMMA, you should put in mind that you either had a good capsular support, so you will use the same IOL, or there is no enough support, so you will explant it and implant another IOL. Here I am going to show the steps of explanting a dropped PMMA in an easy way. At first, complete vitrectomy should be done. BMA is a large, rigid IOL with a very sharp haptics, so you should remove all the vitreous that is entangled within the IOL to make it freely mobile and avoid any adherent retinal tears. After the vitreous around the IOL is removed, a trial of BVD induction is carried out after trimethine alone injection to ensure complete vitreous removal. The IOL is then picked with a forceps and then raised to the level of the iris. Once the IOL is at the level of the iris, we try to exteriorize the IOL at the optic haptic junction and the IOL will be kept in place by passing a second instrument at the optic haptic junction. Then, with the McPherson forceps, the haptic will be coat, exteriorized out of the wound, and the IOL will be kept at this level, and the wound is then extended. And the IOL will be explanted easily out of the eye. So, if you are planning to explant the IOL, I recommend just exteriorizing one happening and extending the wound. It will be much easier than delivery of the whole IOL in the AC before the explantation. After the IOL is explanted, another Iris toe lens will be introduced inside the eye, rotated in order to be grasped by a forceps, and then it will be pushed under the iris in order to fix the clue at the back of the iris with a thin spatula at both sides. After complete fixation, push it slightly backward to ensure it is well fixed. The wound will then be sutured and it will be the end of the case. Here is another case. After complete vitrectomy was done, the IOL will be picked up with the forceps and raised to the level of the iris and then the IOL will be completely delivered in the AC before the explantation. This technique will be very helpful if you have a good capsular support and you are planning to implant the same IOL in the sulcus. It is much easier to push the iris under the IOL rather than trying to push the IOL from below to above. As you see here the iris is pushed downward until the whole IOL will be delivered in the AC. However, as I said before, if you are planning to explant the IOL and implant another one, it is much easier to just exteriorize one haptic. After explanting the IOL, iris glow lens is then introduced inside the eye and then will be fixed retro -pivalory.